What up my dudes, it's E and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty World War II the beta. But to this video, I'm gonna be more giving my positive and negatives from the beta that I played. And just before I get started, the background you're seeing right now is a domination game I played, which was a really pretty crazy game when I did record it. Um, it came down literally, literally right down to the wire. So hope we all enjoy that. So yeah, I'm just gonna get right into the positives and negatives of this beta. I want to start off with the negatives, and what I see when I see is um the submachine guns are a bit OP for players like myself that like running around, etc. Especially the Thompson, I think it was called, or something that resembles that. When it did drop over this past weekend, a lot of people were using it. And it was really overpowered when I when I unlocked it and started using. It, I'm saying, damn, I no wonder why everyone is using this. And but my personal favorite is the Type 100 with rapid fire and extendo mags. I don't know, a lot of people didn't really use it as much, but me, I just found a lot of success with it. And actually, in this gameplay, as you can see, I'm using it um, with the sniper rifle, I believe. So leading to that opinion of mine, the LMGs I don't really use a whole lot because I feel like. They slow you down a whole lot, so for players like myself that run around, like I said, don't really find a need for them. People maybe could find success if they like sticking towards the back of the map or something, just holding down a specific point, but I hate those kind of players, so I don't know. Another thing, head glitches are a bit annoying, and I am guilty of this because I do tend to see myself when I look back at the recordings I make of this game I'm using a lot of head glitches but they are annoying but it's part of the game you have to really try and just deal with it I guess grenades are insane in this game I actually do die by a grenade at least every time I, I hop into a game so the grenades are crazy but again we're gonna have to adjust to that nothing really they can do about the grenade thing you know now I'm gonna be hopping into some of the positives I didn't really have too many negatives from when I played it but this is a debatable the time to kill like at first when i first started the beta i thought it was fair but then when i was playing with my bud in this beta he's saying that the time to kill was really getting out of hand where he was like delivering first shots and then the other guy would just power back and just shoot him back and kill him so i don't know if it's more of like a lag thing i'm not too sure but the time to kill, when I was really observing it, he says it was kind of unfair at points. I think it was like five bullets to kill. But let's say I'm shooting at somebody and then as they're about to die, like they're flinching upward. And as they shoot, they aim towards the head clearly. So then that's how they would get the kill off of me. That's how most of my deaths, I feel like, occur when I'm on one on one battle in a gunfight. The hitbox is another thing that I feel like they could try and fix. In this game, like the sniper rifles, like he can legit be shooting you above the shoulder and then shoot and then like you just die like right away from that. But I guess that's been pretty much the same thing in every Call of Duty. So I don't think they'll be fixing something like that. If they do, like that'll be pretty cool if they did. Another minor glitch that I realized in the game is when an enemy is coming around the corner i would see their name tag before i actually see the actual person themselves and then i, I feel like that's a little bit of a glitch that they'll probably fix on release 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 day but more on the positives team deathmatch i like how they increased it to 100 kills because in the first week weekend on the playstation 4 i think it was only up to 75 kills but then they increased it to 100 i like that a whole lot expands the game out a bit the weapons for the most part i like them a lot like i said the type 100 is probably my favorite the assault rifles i find myself to like use like the weapons like the stg and the m19 i don't know what the other numbers are but i tend my to find myself using rapid fire and i don't know i just like that in the assault rifle with the, with the uh, rapid fire like I can control the recoil, so then having that extra like quick burst, like I just like that feeling in the in the weapon itself. Play with the snipers a little bit when I was playing game modes like War, and I'm as you can see, I'm using the sniper rifle here because like this is a class I use for the game mode War. And the snipers, they're they're already it's just a hitbox. They really gotta fix that hitbox thing a bit. I feel like LMGs, like I said, don't really like them 
too much because they slow me down, but I guess they could be good, I guess. Assault Rifles, you already got my opinion on that. I may mainly use two. Don't really like the semi-automatic. I feel like I find myself to slow down a bit and then try and like actually like tap the my um the trigger um thing on the controller and then i don't know i just find myself to be slowing down a bit so yeah having the semi-automatic is just the way i roll in the game and some machine guns you already got my opinion on that they are pretty overpowered the map layouts they're good i i like the map layouts they're small a lot of quick engagements and you're not like maps that how they were in call of duty goats how they were like so huge and then it take you like forever to find somebody but i really do enjoy the maps so far i don't know what other maps are going to be adding hopefully something similar to that will be gotten to beta but now we're talking about the map layouts um the spawning i really do like the spawning a lot in this game is not going to be as crazy from what has been in past call of duties when you start clearing them out in a spawn and next you know they just start spawning different parts in the map they don't really stick into a pacific um spawn when you rush them how it works in this game from what i s saw is when you kill two or three players from the other team they'd still spawn where, where they are spawning at they wouldn't change the spawn so quickly so then you have to start running around like crazy and that's kind of like a thing that's been messing me up a bit in this game when i'm expecting the enemy to be at another spawn point they're not there because they're still in their same old spawn point unless you wipe them out completely like so maybe they'll still spawn there, but then they'll completely change the spawn. But it's something I had to get adjusting to when um we start killing them. They'll most likely still be in their same spawn point. As for the game modes, TDM is ba basic. I like that. Domination, as you see in this game, when they have the this game the this game domination in that small map with the trenches. I don't remember what it was called. I don't have I don't think I've recorded a gameplay on that but when I did play on it it was so crazy the spawns they were acting like how they were in past Call of Duties where they just start picking you everywhere and it was crazy I don't know if it's a thing for them to try and ban domination in that map itself because it gets way too crazy in that map and what I saw in domination when you try capturing the flag solo it's really quick it, it usually takes a bit of time but when you're in there solo it does tend to like load the flag when it says it's yours pretty quickly game modes like hardpoint i like it i don't really see a big issue with it because the score streaks they um could play a big factor in it but i don't really see like a big problem with hardpoint so i guess it's good for now hardpoint the game mode war that one is a bit confusing to talk about because i feel like it's a bit too easy to attack because when you kill the enemy that are on the attack they spawn in right away they don't have a delayed time but yet when you're on the fence when you die you have to wait like was it like three seconds four four seconds to spawn in and i feel like that's such a big disadvantage because then you can't really get to a good spot on the fence for the attack i, I feel like it can change something about it to make it a better game mode but the actual point of itself, like going to a point in the map and then moving back, forcing the defending people to move back and then moving forward. I like that part of it, but I feel like they can change something about it that can make it even better. Now let's talk about when we start up the game and pick our own division. I really do enjoy that a whole lot because, first of all, it gives you a chance to pick your type of play style, which I enjoy a lot. Me personally, I pick the guy that has the UAV, like jammer, not the jammer, like it prevents the enemy from seeing you from a UAV. I think it's called something like mountain, I think. And I really enjoy that because like I mean, I don't like being seen in the radar. So being able to run stealthy and just pick them off like that. And the thing is with these divisions, the more you play as a certain character, you unlock new things to make them better. I think one of the things with Mountain, you can unlock, like silence your own movements, which I really do like about that. So, and there's other things, I think for Airborne, you can get like Suppressor with your weapon or something like that. That I really do enjoy. And I, I really like the how they did that. And I think by the end of every division, you unlock a certain weapon. I think for the one I'm using Mountain, you unlock a Sniper. One like Airborne, you get a um on a submachine gun i didn't really see anyone unlock it unless I, I don't know how that works so i'm probably gonna have to 
maybe look up a video on that or wait until launch day to see like when you actually level up that division up to the full rank thing and another thing i like is the basic training base it's basically like a perk in a way but i just really like how that connects well with the division so if there are more like basic training sort of things like that'll be really really good and i just really like how that they just put everything in that game to just fit well with each other but yeah my dudes hopefully y'all did enjoy this like negative and positives about call of duty world war ii the beta can't really i can't wait I just can't wait for this thing to drop out in november the third i'm pretty sure but yeah hopefully y'all did enjoy this if you have any opinions of the beta and um, i missed it or something just leave it down in the comments so that i can like get a take on that too i'll probably reply to you and let me let you know what i think but yeah uh, i don't know how long this video of me recording my voice over this gameplay is gonna be but if it's under then i guess i'll just show you the rest of this game like i said it was a really really close game all the way to the end but yeah hopefully y'all did enjoy i will upload more um videos i think i have a hard point video to upload and I have another video to upload, and then those will probably be the final two videos of the beta. But yeah, please leave a thumbs up if you do and did enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Hmm. Bye. Find cover!